All right, I'm ready. All right. If it's not going to uh, cut into time too much, I'd like to, if just for RP, uh, have Tip give the kobolds and the gnome a once over to make sure they're <coughs> safe to move. Um, the gnome kind of gets up, Erky gets up and sort of dusts himself off and sort of stretches like he's been sitting for in that little cage for a long time, and he probably has. The kobolds, they're a little... They're a little, like, like there's definitely some bruising. Like, they're here because they got the shit kicked out of them. Mm-hmm. But they're in as good a health as can be expected, but they're not really in fighting condition. Okay. But they can move safely. They're, they're not, yes. like, showing signs of uh, concussion or whatnot. No. They should head back. Um, do the kobolds speak common? Rough, common, yeah. Um, Dara asked them, you can repay us by making sure that the gnome gets safely back to the surface. Um, looking yeah, we to... Sh- should Erky... probably talk to the gnome for a while. <laughs> Erky hears you say that and kind of perks and kind of says, actually, I would... I'd like to accompany you to hopefully maybe help me help me get my rest of my companions back. I can heal. I'm a cleric. I, I am a cleric. Meepo kind of snarls at him and goes, "We, we eat and we can't eat no one, Yes. Uh, Don't backhand no, Meepo. We. We, <laughs> we are here for this person and his, uh, his companions. Uh, but you, you, you say you have fine cow tricks. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And we're not saying we won't, now. They're probably in the we same area. We have more than one thing we're doing in here. It's worth mentioning that he, you know, gnomes and kobolds hate each other. So, sending the gnome with the kobolds is probably not such a good idea anyway. Um, Chip, what do you think? Is he uh, fit to continue on with us? Yeah, he got up and stretched. I didn't see any stumbling. Uh, do you have your... Uh, uh, Tip turns to address the gnome. Uh, do you have your holy symbol? He holds up a holy symbol of Lathander. I'm yes, and I, in fact, I still have it. That is handy. He's, yeah, let's take him with us. All right then. Meepo, send your people home. Mm-hmm. He <clears throat> and they shatter each other and. Uh, draconic, and then they begin to file out and go back in the direction you came from. What about the Caltrop crew? We it's took all the Caltrops. Oh, never mind. Didn't you watch um, the video? I forgot. You forgot. We're murder ho. Well, not the video. Not he, was, down, it's ours. he was there. Even yeah. better. I don't know. I don't keep track of that. Huh. Erky sort of looks at all of you and sort of straightens his shirt out and. Well, I. I, I assume from your talk then you came here to, to find the rest of us then. Amongst other things. Uh, I don't know where they took Talgan and Sharwin and Sir Bradford, but I know that they took I know that they took them away oh probably a few weeks ago. Um, um I overheard them say that someone named Belak wanted them. Bella. We've heard the name. 
Out of we character, have... who is holding Caracas's ring? Wasn't Redneck holding on to the... Or no. Redneck, Redneck was... is just counting the spoil. Yeah, Redneck was cataloging the spoil. Alright, so... Out of character, who's holding on to Caracas's ring? Just call it out. Not I. I got it. Okay. Tip, I think... Uh, damn it, what's the gnome's name? Erky. Erky I... Timbers. Tip, I think Erky should uh, have that ring. Oh, shit. Tip walks over to the gnome, kneels and hands him the ring. He takes the ring, looks at it, and... Oh, yes, nas nasty business, that. Uh, poor Caracas didn't really take a good hard look at that uh, at that fountain. He succumbed, he succumbed to the poison. And then the rats came, and, well, we went in the other direction. Oh, yes. I'm afraid I'm not really cut out for this whole adventuring thing. But still, I, I want to get my companions back and get back to town after that. Let's see the suit at the end, then. Let's... Dar's gonna head out the door and uh, peek through the next one. Let's go see what's in that next room. Meepo and Erky give each other a noticeably large berth. <laughs> I'll hang out with Meepo and kind of stay in between the two of them. Second verse, same as the first. Crack open the door. Check for traps first. We did. We already, we already did. Toby. I don't. Uh, be, oh, before she left the room, I don't suppose you uh, know where they took a dragon, do you? A dragon, a dragon. Hmm. I did overhear them talking about a dragon. Um. Something about a trophy room. In fact, I think I heard a name. What was his name? Calcrix? Well, I... I hmm. No, it was... They were talking about an individual. Uh, um, they, were calling, they were calling him a uh, hunter. Uh, Balsag, yes. Um... I, I didn't come up with I didn't come up with the name. <laughs> I, I was reading it aloud and I went, "Oh, really? You fucking okay?" The actual pronunciation is Bolzac. Probably. It's it's, <laughs> it's, it's just it, it, Rome. It, yep, and, and it's a Romanization that makes it worse because English speakers pronounce it Bolzac. Mm -hmm. God. Um. So the the room, the north and south walls of this chamber are stacked halfway to the ceiling with ill-made barrels, boxes, and crates. The path allows easy access to the west and east doors. Um, yeah, so it's a stockpile, basically. Mm. Stockpile? Or a, a larder. No, not really a larder, just food storage. I, I think we should give it once over to make sure there's nothing been hidden in there. Like if they're just storing random things, it might be something Agreed. worth keep getting an eye into. So run a perception check first. Go for it. I've got a four. Advantage. Advantage on that too. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-one. Thank God. That. You find. I was like, oh no. So it's 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 
the goblins here, are, you know, they're storing water, wine, and food. None of which is none of which is good quality. Um, these, but you do find uh, what is used something useful that is uh, five pint, five pints of oil. Um, yes. And. Some sort of odd gelatinous substance in barrels that have go uh, goblin writing on them. Uh, can anyone read this? Uh, Erky pints up. Uh, I, I do understand goblin, actually. Um, oh, oh dear. Uh, this says elf pudding. I'm. Not really sure what that would be. I'm not sure I want to find out. Let me give it a sniff. <laughs> I am with you on Zix. Darvick It's oils. foul. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I believe we should leave this here. Can't believe they opened the thing. There's another door inside the door. Yes, we know. I'm gonna check it for traps. He investigated. Someone back me up on this? Yeah, I'll help. Good thing. It is, it is not trapped. Cool. Alright. I also assume it's not locked either because he didn't say so. <clears throat> no. Never assume. Oh. Do we go proceed through that door, or do we go up and check this other door? Uh... Are any of the boxes broken? Like, mm. shattered? No. I don't think they came this way. Let's check the other doors first. And I'm gonna pile, start piling some of the boxes in front of this door. Okay. Just so that they're there. Mm -hmm. You you base you you basically lock the door with crates of food and water. Yep. Alrighty, and uh, moving on to the door at the end of the hallway. Unless anybody wants to do anything it Jesus Christ! You step in a pit trap. Didn't oh, we check hell. this hallway before? No. Nope. No. Nope. Fuck. Alright, reflex safe? Um da 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 The only reason Alexi was confident in charging across that hallway is because he watched goblins do the same thing. Yeah. And then he never searched further up the hallway. Uh, hmm. This has no save. So, no save. fortunately, it's only a 10 foot drop. So, that's only 1d6 damage. You take three points of damage from the fall. How does it have no save? That's weird. Uh, that's... Welcome to old adventure design. Mm. Wonderful. Let's help Dar out of the pit. You mean to tell me you didn't check this hallway earlier when you were in here? Everyone was running around so quickly. The only room that got checked was the one to the north. I know, that was in character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the closest I got here and was looking at this door, but that was it. Huh. The gnome's name and... is Yurkrix, right? What? No, Eri... Erky. Erky. Erky Timbers. 
Okay. Um, Alexi's gonna drop Dara a line so she can climb. Mm hmm. Also, Alexi, you may want to take a step back. The the edge of the the edge of the trap is actually here. So right, back the fuck up. There. That's the edge of that's the edge of the trap. Um, Lexi's again going to try and jam the trap shut if he can. Mm-hmm. Strength check or Yeah. Does anyone wanna help him? I'm kinda busy. <laughs> I uh, not really not really a thing anybody can really help with. It's all you oh, okay. I believe you have climbing equipment, right? Like pit, like pittons? Yeah, pittons and stuff like that, yes. Yeah, you can use a pitton to jam it open, so go ahead and give me a uh, strength check. Yeah, either roll is fine. Um, I clicked like the sec. I clicked once ages ago and didn't. I thought I didn't click it, and I clicked it again, and then two showed up. So yeah, just watch your watch your toggles too, because you're rolling with advantage again. Um, damn it, sorry. But either way, you once you see it, you can now discern that there's like a hidden catwalk to get across it. But you. Take that and chunk. Oh, actually, before I, before you even get that far, um, Jerl, give me a retroactive uh, perception check. Thank you. First stuff down in the pit. Uh, yeah, you find a uh, a, a long lost gold ring with an inset sapphire, worth twenty five gold pieces. Nice. I'll pocket that. Oops. Um, Redneck, would you mind uh, making a note of it on your loot list? Yep, not a problem. And just, you know, Dara. <laughs> yep, not a problem. Thank you. All right, now what do you do? Dara's gonna step back and lick her wounds. <laughs> Not literally. Why, so, Erky, you're a healer, right? <laughs> uh, oh, yes, yes. Um, he comes over. Alexi's going to gen you know, make his way around the door slowly, not as and try not to set off anything and check the door for trap. Roll with the bandage. So. No offense, Tip, but yeah. I'd rather you save your spells for more uh, critical situations. None take it. Ouch. Clumsy dwarf, let me do it. It would be an investigation check, though, wouldn't it? Hold up a minute. For traps. So I've got to check something because the character, because the NPC sheet on this fucking program is incomplete. Oh, nice! Of course. Ah, okay, there we go.
He casts Cure Wounds, and you get six HP back. Yeah, I am finally at full health for the first time in ages. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, what the fuck's going on at the door? Perceptions, you're checking the door for traps? Yes. All right, and Chris, I would thank you not to fucking metagame dice roll. Um, so checking for traps, you don't find any traps. But you do notice the door and the air around the door is chilly. Like that previous door that we went to and had a look at. But this is the other... this is different. It's because the other door was ornate. This is just a door. Okay. Nice um, um. The door. Ah, the door is locked. You do find. We're going to need a thief up here. Well, as soon as you can find one. <laughs> Dara pointedly ignores that comment. That's why he said, as soon as you can find one, because oh, yeah. oh. none of us are thieves. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're mercenaries, which a lot of people would say is the same thing, but you know. Technically, she's not a thief either. Nope. Like, I have who's good at luck picking. I have sleight of hand. That's like no. the closest thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> It is lock picks with a lock pick proficiency, Rai. Quit trying to force it. Um, I hear it. So Kitty. this is the only way to go. Why not just break the damn door open? I'm willing to give it a try. I do have a trusty warhammer and a crowbar. Go for it. I throw all of my weight into the door and bounce off of it. <laughs> yeah, all like yeah, 70 all... pounds. <laughs> yeah, uh, really, right? When wet. <laughs> take take one damage. <laughs> take one damage. <laughs> the door laughs at you. Well, I'll just need to move up there, so if Chris could move back, I'll get in there and... Um, why don't we try, why don't we try whistling? Let's see if it whistles back. Huh? You know, the adventurers wow. laugh, the bartender laughs, the table laughs. We shoot the table. <laughs> That's a big nope. Uh... Well, Dan. I think you... I broke my crowbar. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, the crowbar. You morons the crowbar are going snaps. to bring the entire goblin nation down on us. Move. Also, also, once again, check your toggles because you're rolling multiple dice again for some reason. There are waits for somebody to clear a space for. Her. Yep. Um. There you go. <sighs> Or can I just take 10? I know it's not a thing, but again, no consequences as far as I know. Oh wait, is the door trapped? Did they check? They checked, they, they didn't they checked, they didn't find any traps. Alright, cool. Was that enough to do anything? No, you're you're jimmying the lock and trying to get it open and not really getting anywhere. Okay. Can I try again? Yeah. How's that? Now the... Now it comes unlocked. Dart steps back and uh, looks at Alexi and gestures him in. 
Let's take the door slowly. If it was locked, they might not be expecting people to come through it, but... So, can we open the door while we're standing on this side and see what's going through? Yeah. All right, you peek through. Mounted and stuffed animal heads adorn the walls. The mounting job is sloppy, and the assortment of heads includes cattle, rats, and other not particularly impressive specimens. A few grizzly trophies share the wall with the animals, including a couple of kobold heads. Smashed and broken cabinets and small tables litter the periphery of the room, mute victims of some sort of rampage. A rusted iron spike stands in the center of the room, trailing a broken chain, and thin patches of frost coat sections of the walls, floor, and debris. Looks like we found the trophy room. But we haven't found ourselves a dragon. It looks kind of disgusting. Alexi's going to step in and do a search for traps. Getting advantage with Tara or? Not damn. Yeah, go ahead. You step in the room, you don't see any traps, but as you begin to rummage... Is it spiky? <laughs> I believe we've found our dragon. <laughs> From behind a table in the room, a young wormling dragon a white wormling dragon full of piss and vinegar crawls out of her hiding space and comes around glaring at you snarling Calcrix Dragon oh. And in and common. Meepo, how how do we go about uh, getting her to do what we want again? Um. Perhaps I can talk to the dragon and calm it down. Perhaps the dragon handler can take care of this. Oh, he's a dragon handler. Was. You kind of the original nudge him forward into the and the. Calcrix looks at him and her, you, you know, you're not familiar with dragons, but she does not look happy to see him, to say the least. You bring the jailer. I will not be taken and treated like a pet. She slowly socks closer. And Alexi slowly brings his shield to bear. <laughs> and moves sideways as to not be inside of the cone. I'd be moving if I were you. Oh, Dara, step back outside the door and drag Meepo behind her. As you reach for Meepo, Calcrix rears back and... I will not be taken again. Uh, yeah, oh, she's... <laughs> if it comes Am I making to... a dodge roll? Five, ten... If it comes to saving Meepo and getting hit herself, fuck it. She's ducking around the corner. <laughs> 
Shut the door. There's a Chris is at the boat before. Uh, she's no, you're trying happened. to take you're trying to take actions after it's happened. Chris, is that really where you want to stand? No, that because <laughs> that's where you were. All right, give me one second here. I need to draw the line so everybody can see where this hits. So it's five. Like sheltering huddled in the corner. <laughs> Dragon's breath, but no joke, man. Um. Okay, I need um, I need two more blue eyes and a polymerization card. What? I was thinking five white lands and the destruction. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this the Warhammer 40k thing? No, uh, I was referencing Yu-Gi-Oh, and he's referencing Magic. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I heard Magic. It's like I are confused. <laughs> Five white lands and a what? What are you casting? Destruction. Oh. Well, I, I need I need two blacks and seven colorless. <laughs> Do you know what I'm casting? <laughs> Nothing yet. <laughs> Am I in the room? It's just Hang on. One best cards known to man. Destroy all creatures you don't control. They can't be regenerated. Huh. <laughs> I'm trying to get this to angle the way I want it to. 